What's up guys, my name is Potato and welcome back to another service Saturday. We're getting closer to the end of the season uh, map reset at the end of February. So these next few are going to be the last few builds that people have either been working on this entire season or uh, just a bunch of little tiny stuff that people want uh, to, you know, show off and let other people see. Next week we're going to be visiting Nubtown that uh, started up about a month ago, month and a half, somewhere around there, mid, mid December, new people came in and... Um, yeah, we're going to be doing one of those mega Nubtown show-off things next week, so there might be actually two episodes of that because we are closing up on time. Anyways, this is from Taharo, which is not how you say his name, but it's Victor. Victor, this is Victor's build. It's called uh, Casa de Sand, uh, as per usual of his uh, of his uh, builds. Something, always Casa de whatever. Um, he wanted something bigger and got help from Shimmy. The houses are not furnished due to laziness, which is uh, fine by me. That saves me time on uh, checking stuff out. But here we go. Uh, it says, welcome to Love Sand uh, on both of these signs. So, I mean, if you love sand, let, let me tell you, if you love sand, you should, you should come check out Love Sand. That's, uh, that's, this is a good place to come if you, if you like uh, sand builds. But it uh, looks like we got like a bridge or something here. Is this like a guard tower? Yeah, look at that. There's no way to get on the other side of it, but that's okay. We don't need to go over there. We'll do just fine over here. I like the use of buttons, too. It's like wood that's sticking out of the sand or something like that, you know? Love Sands Mill and Lathe. Constructors Co. That said Constructors, right? Yes. Got the reception desk right over here in security, which is an iron golem just hanging out doing his thing. <coughs> um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce any of that, but hopefully some of uh, you people across the seas know what this is saying. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's something funny. I don't know. Uh, one of you guys translate it for me. Do that. I want to know, what it, know what, it, what it means now. Uh, we got a few mills over here and lays. That's not bad. That's actually a pretty good representation of a lathe in Minecraft. <clears throat> that's a uh, that's not bad. Good job, Victor. Upstairs we got the food level. That's a cool cool name to call cafeteria. You know, everybody calls it you know cafeteria or something like that. I like food level. Let's go on up to food level and get us a hot dog or or something else that construction construction fellas eat. Boring work paper stuff. I like the names of these floors. That's good. It's straight to the point and uh, doesn't doesn't really lead you on. You know. Because what if that was called something else, like the Council of Papers and Books? It's like, well, I don't, what do you, what do you, why do you need a council for that? Is this, this is a library? I, I don't know. Uh, the nursing floor is, you know, three floors up because they don't care about your babies. And if you have to bring it to work, then you're going to, you're going to do, do the extra work to get up those stairs and take care of your baby. And then the boss at the top. He has, a, he has a map over here of his build, which is pretty cool. I can see my little arrow right there. And uh, looks like the boss has access to the, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I was going to call it a bell house, but there's no bell. Uh, just the top of the tower. This is actually pretty high up. I didn't think that we went this high already. Um, we're going to take the quick way down and just jump down. Bam. And we have a bank. Right here, not bad. Gotta have a bank. I'm not sure what this room would be used for. Maybe to wave at the people, or maybe that's where they keep the money so people can actually see. It's like, oh yeah, now they got money today. Let's just go in there and take all the money. And um, <clears throat> my, uh, I, I swear, it, I still have this freaking cough. Um, it's coming back. Like it was fine a few days ago, and now it's back. And it, it always seems to come at the worst times. Like, I want to I wanna just, like, you know, cough a bunch to get it out of my, you know, whatever's in there, out. But I know that's not going to help. Well, that other house was kind of furnished. This one's not, though. But this one, this one's furnished. So I guess that was probably just a model house, you know. Like, oh, yeah, no, you want to live here? Why don't, you, uh, why, don't you, why don't we give you a tour of what some of these houses can bring like this U-House. It's like a horseshoe. 
That's what you call it. You call it the lucky horseshoe. It's a bad horseshoe though, because there's nothing in it. So it might be unlucky because someone may have robbed it, you know? But if not, then then it's probably lucky. What what would uh what would one have to do to make a horseshoe lucky? By the way, does anybody know? Is that like science? Is that like uh like being able to magnetize something? Can can we just do that? Can we just like m put something up to a machine and and have it magnetized with luck? I don't, I don't know. You know, you guys know it. This this is not a science thing. I'm not Neil deGrasse or or Bill Nye or anything like that. But but I could be maybe for Halloween I'll be like, I'll be in Neil deGrasse Tyson. If you guys don't know who that is, you should probably Google him or YouTube him. There's a lot of really cool videos of him on the tubes. Um, he's basically a black Bill Nye. Sorta. Of. I mean, you, it's, that's a good way of describing him. It's basically the black Bill Nye. He's he's a cool guy though. I like him. Shit, I keep I keep going into these builds assuming that there might be stuff in here, but nope. Maybe if I press the button, they'll fill with furniture. That's probably not how it works. We gotta figure out what this thing is. What is this? I guess this is uh, some sort of farm. But I'm not 100% sure what. It would be pretty cool if items did flow down here and then into that and then down here. Man, you're giving me ideas for my single player because I just want to do like stupid stuff in that. My hardcore? Just like make something ridiculous like this? Like maybe turn this into a cactus farm? And then have like this aqueduct that brings it down and into my house? For no reason. No reason other than to just do it. That might, uh, that might be something. So Victor, thank you for giving me the inspiration to do something like this. Uh, next hardcore, we should, uh, I say we, but I'm gonna put, start putting efforts into doing something stupid like this. I like this. This is cool. Love Sands Medical Herbs. Okay, that's what it is. Didn't want to brush past uh, this stuff over here. These are like stalls right over here. And then there's this, which makes me think that it's like a... The first thing that comes to mind is like a mechanical horse or bull, you know, that, that people get on top of and it goes around and then you fall down on the padding. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably not it, just because it really, I don't know. I don't think that he would put that here in a sand build, but then again, maybe he would. I'm not uh, I'm not saying he won't. Maybe it is. So, Victor, you could chime in, maybe let people know what that was. So, this is a cool farm. Where's your water at, though? Is it, under it can't be underneath. It has to be adjacent. Oh, oh, my bad. My bad. Sorry, everybody. You shouldn't be seeing that. Um, maybe he just didn't put it there? This is... Oh, this isn't wheat. That's why. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't I, I don't know, guys. It's, it's been a weird day. So, um, that's not wheat. <laughs> that was wild grass. I don't know why I thought it was wheat or whatever, but... Charles Lee must be right here. Charles Lee must be here, right? I, maybe? I, I don't know. Who, who's Charles Lee? Is he, is he a guy that likes drugs? I, I don't know. I mean, you labeled this herbs, so I assume, or what, one would assume, that you're making drugs up here. I mean, this is a lot of drug stations. I, is there a way to get it to the top floor? Am I insane? I'm not seeing this. Let's just, uh, we'll pop up there. See what's going down. We got some pools of water and some trees up here. It looks like he probably put some dirt down, and grew them, and then replaced it with sand. That would be my very uneducated guess. I wonder, is it. Can you. Mm, that'd be cool though, wouldn't it? Like if you could water plants this way? Man, that'd be cool. Might be a cool little mod for, uh, for someone to do. For Minecraft, you know, like they call it drippage or something, something weird like that to catch people's eyes and be like, drippage? What's that? That sounds oddly sexual, and it turns me on just the name. So why not check it out, and download it? By the way, if you're gonna make that mod, I totally will endorse it. We'll call it the drippage, and uh, 
we will make 1,000 internet likes. At least. That's the goal, I can promise you that. 1,000 internet likes. On, I don't know, MySpace or something. But anyways, this, this that's Victor's place right there. Well, Victor and with the help of Shimmy, Orin X, and uh, Hallie from the from the forum post here. Pretty cool. Let's go check out the next place though. All right, so here we are over at uh, Tessica's place or Talea, whichever you want to call her. And um, it's a small little build that she says that it was a small house that she tried to be creative with. So. Let's go inside and see how creative she got with it. There is a cake on the roof, so that's a good start. Um, advanced Trooper Secure Entrance Mechanism. Or... Atsim. Atsim. For, for sure. Oh. You got me. You got me on that one. I did not... Did not see that one coming. Oh. There you go. Man, you really just can't see the depth of that thing coming up to it. Like, oh! Oh, no, there's another door. Okay, well, I get you. All right, we got a, a pantry, or probably like a place to put your coats and stuff. Storage, which is this crafting table right here. No, just kidding, it's probably in here. There you go. Oh wow, do those actually open? Oh yeah, they do, look at that. I did not know that you could stagger them that way and it still work. That's pretty cool. Um, we got a sitting room here, which is uh, just a place where you just, you know, you come down, you sit down and, and you think about these little dudes on their unicycles are dancing. I don't know. What are they doing with their feet? You you all decide. What, what are these guys doing with their feet? I don't, I don't know. I always just assumed they were on like a, a unicycle or something. But now that I'm looking at it, these little squares, they're, they're his feet? I don't know. You guys let me know. Maybe you guys got a better imagination than I do. Um, that's a weird staircase. Uh, kitchen and TV room. Alright, yeah, combine the two. Because, I mean, you get food and you sit down and watch TV, right? That's how it, that's how it works for me. You know, you get food and you just like, alright, I can't do anything else other than just watch something. So you turn on the TV. And uh, that leads to the enchanting room. Or, I guess, one way of going to the enchanting room. Which has a glass floor, which is actually kind of cool. I like that. Got some books and some drugs, a whole bunch of sugar and ender pearls, and a little enchanting table. Let's check behind the painting. No, nothing suspicious there. All right. We got a bagels room. It looks like uh, bagels decided to come in here and make a little place. I know for a fact, bagels, that you do not read this many books. And if you do, I don't know. Are these like these must be like pop-up books? Which I, I can totally get behind because having like a hundred pop-up books and you got you got a book for all occasions, right? I mean, summer, birthdays, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. It's You can pop a book for any occasion. That's that's what's going down here. Uh, there's a sign right here. Bagels was here. Well, it's your room. I assume you would be here, Bagels. See, this is what I'm talking about. He has pop-up books. That's, that's that's what's going on. Uh, I guess this is an office? What is what is this labeled as? Office. Nailed it. Exact words and everything. Got some shelving. Some lights. And uh, and that's it. That's okay. Shelving and lights. That's, that's basically an office. Oh, look. You can see through here. That's pretty neat. Gotta have plants. Plants inside your house means that I don't know I, I was trying to see where my brain would go with that but it just it didn't go anywhere bedroom you know uh, for those of you who have watched the American office you know that scene where Michael Scott um, or Steve Carell's character he said that he begins sometimes he begins sentences without really knowing where it's gonna go and he just kind of talks and sees where you know what comes up that happens with me a lot. So that's why I sort of stumble over things 90% of the time. You got a farm upstairs, if you guys didn't see. Of course you saw. You got eyeballs. If you didn't, you should go back. Just rewind it. And, um, man, that's it. Small little house, keeping it creative, which it definitely is creative. I mean, God damn, I've never seen one with a layout like this before. Which is, uh, which is cool. I like it. Um... 
I think that was the window I saw out there was... God damn it, these double doors! <laughs> I thought it was weird that this door was on the outside, but I just figured that was a design choice, choice, so... Ah, okay, so this was that room. Okay, so, pretty cool build, Tessica. Let's, uh, we got some time. We'll, we'll go visit another build this week. Alright, so we flew on over to Saji's build called Tarnwood. He has a cool little description here that I'm going to read off to you guys. Tarnwood is a tranquil village hidden away in a small valley with a few houses, an inn, general store, blacksmith, church, and pond. Take the stairway behind the general store and head up over the bridges to get to the Sky Temple. It's an old and forgotten place, and it is where the owner of the Tarnwood Manor is buried. Now, uh, this is a pretty cool looking build. Uh, it's been a while since we've actually seen sort of a village that's uh, tucked away inside of a, um, a valley. So I'm very excited to actually see how he went about doing this. Uh, first build, right up here, is uh, Tarnwood Manor. Manor. <clears throat> Which makes sense. I mean, it's on the, the, the biggest hill and everything like that. We got something off in the distance there that's just dripping lava. Which sounds worse than it really is. And Tarnwood, uh, Tarn, it's Tarnwood, right? Not Tornwood, Tarnwood. Tarnwood Manor. So, uh, this is a big old manor that overlooks the village. Pretty neat. Um, got a little kitchen thing. What is it over here? Back patio. Which has a nice little pathway to just the garden. Alright, can get around that. Got someone else's build over there in the back. Another one over there. This place is, uh, pretty populated. But I guess, uh, that's what happens when you have the same map for a couple of months. There's a lot of people coming in and out. Oh wow, there's actually like guardrails on this. That's not bad. I like that. Over here looks like a patio. Another patio. Actually, the only patio. Balcony. That's the word I was looking for. The only balcony. Because technically, that could be a patio. Whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. Balcony provides a better view of the uh, the village and stuff like that. And then the, uh, the grave site, which I think is right there. I don't think it's that. That'd be a weird looking grave place. Is that a stair? It is a stair. Whoa, tons of bricks. I like how he uh, he kept the, the rooftops all similar too, which is uh, pretty cool. Also keeping the bedrooms very simple. No need to overcomplicate things if uh, simple will definitely do it. Uh, transfer. I don't know if that's like his own sign or whatever, but uh, he has a, a chest over there, I guess, of items that he wants to get transferred. We have a little transfer system set up for those who want to take items onto the next uh, the next map. So maybe he's just deciding. I don't know. Um, Alright, whoop. That's uh, Tarnwood Manor. We have a lot more to cover, so uh, we better get to it. Uh, we'll go down this way. We'll, we'll take the actual path. I was just going to skip on over, but... No, 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 we can't do that. The blacksmith, the old smithy, right here. Looks oddly familiar to my own smith in uh, Beastcraft. Which is pretty cool. I like this design. It's simple and effective. He comes in here, takes a nap, and then right here is where he stands naked to eat his, his mutton chops or other delicious stuff that, you know, he would probably eat at the time. I got someone over here. Uh, Winchester pub, so he's got a pub. Every every good village needs a pub, otherwise, you know, where are people gonna get drunk and make mistakes? One gold per night, that's not a bad price, depending on, I guess, on how hard it is to come by gold in this place. Have a farm back here for the food. I like how you have fences around everything too, I, I've, I've been doing that as well with um, my build on Beastcraft, and um, I don't know, I think it, it brings in another level of, uh, I don't, you know, I don't even know the word, just awesomeness? I, I don't know. Who, who, how do you say, like, a fence is awesome? I, uh, I don't know. I found a way. I also like this. I wanted to point this out. I like, um, I like how this is set up. Just want to point that out, that I like how that's set up is all. That's, that's really it. I have nothing else to say about it. I just like it. Got a couple of bedrooms here with some, uh, some pretty cool view of some stuff that I just, I don't know what people are doing, but they're doing it over there. If someone ever asks me, like, hey, where are they doing it? I can point them to where it is currently being done, and people will be very happy that I was able to provide that information. 
Which normally I wouldn't be able to, because I wouldn't know where it's being done. But but now I know. I should set a warp over there called getting getting it done. Getting it done. I, I don't know. I was gonna put something after it, but I think that's good. I think I think that's enough. Um, nice house. <laughs> it sounds so ingenuine. Uh, it, it's just you know, it's like I mean, it, it's a nice house. Saji, I'm, I'm, I apologize, man. I'm I'm all over the place right now. We got a gazebo, pretty cool, across the way from the nice house, which is now currently labeled the nice house. We have Tarnwood Church, which is uh oh, being monitored by sniper sheep in the mountains. That sniper sheep in the mountains. We got one more behind me. There he is. He's watching my back in case no one uh, sneaks up on me. In case, case rather, someone sneaks up on me rather. Um, oh, I was gonna say, it's like, what's on, what's wrong with this corner? And then, then I saw the ladder. Um, so let's walk this walk up backwards because you know YOLO. And takes us to the top where more sniper sheep are up here. The vigilant eyes of the sniper sheep watching the crazy thing that that is over there. I know, I don't know what it is either. But hopefully they submitted it. If not, oh well, you guys will be able to look at it once the world map uh, download comes up. I'm pretty excited about the map reset. Um, not only does it mean, you know, new people eventually, um, because applications do open up mid-February, um, but they spawn that candle has worked out it's just phenomenal um, general store and for those of you veterans of service Saturday you guys know candle aka HM addict has just the best builds very creative and it's very well thought out he has it like pixel by pixel um, well I guess block by block rather of what he's gonna be doing so pretty stoked about that if I could show you guys it, I would, but I'm definitely not going to ruin the surprise. Got a bunch of nice houses. That's a nice house. So we got a pond. This person thinks he's being sneaky, but he's not. He's wearing bright blue or teal armor, and you're trying to sneak around. Fishing pond? No fishing. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Maybe it's just labeled fishing pond. Oh, oh, by the, the fishing pond. Where they have a diving board that's totally not a dock, but a diving board. Um, how do we get up the mountain, though? Was it back over there by the, uh... Whoop. By the nice house? This is behind the general store. Ah, right here. A little intersection. So let's pop on up here. And check out... Some more nice houses. I like the bridge too. This is nice. Oh, I can't hop on that. But you can see that one. There you go. It's a nice bridge. I like how you made the bottom of the the uh, the pillars too bigger, like an actual bridge would be. Got to make that big foundation, you know. And uh, was this labeled anything? I don't remember seeing a sign. Um, this is pretty cool. Ladders on both sides. First stop, women's lingerie. Second stop, nothing. That's it. There's only one stop on this train, and it's women's lingerie, and that's it. If you don't want that, then this is not the store for you. It's not even a store. It's just a dude that's just been collecting underwear and is like, come on into my place. I mean, shop and buy some of my things. I mean, products. You probably shouldn't call it products either. That's that's a bad term. So, grave site right over here, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that has to be it. Who is that? Pro, de blah blah. I can't even say your name. Pro day some. Up top, we have this one's for Nadia, which uh, sounds like something Terry would say. Only 11 fall-related deaths today. That's great. That's fantastic. That was a good ratio. You want to keep it, you know, low double digits. Otherwise, you know, well, it's just... Wasn't there like a scene in Narnia? <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain just went on a different ta tangent here. Wasn't there a scene in Narnia where, like, the lion or whatever gets stabbed on an altar like this? 
Is that is that what you're doing here? Maybe, maybe I don't know. Perhaps I will watch Narnia after. <laughs> no, no, I won't. Uh, I wish I could watch movies with you guys. Like, if there was a way for us to stream movies and and talk over it, so you don't know what the fuck the movie's going about, you know. Welcome to Sky Temple. Everything built by me, Saj. Or Saji. So call him Saji. It's just because. Yeah, the Xbox name, yeah, I got, yeah, I got the, the double E's. This is pretty cool. I love this dome. Or it's, you know, or if you don't classify it as a dome, this this roof. I don't know. I like it. It's very nice. And it's very, um, I want to use the word fluid, but I think that's just because there's fluid here. But I'm saying, like, smooth. I don't, yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. I, I want to get to that level where, like, I could just look at something and be like, you know, it's very, and then just stop there and you guys would be like, yeah, no, we know, we get it, we've seen it. Uh, catacombs. So let's go check out the catacombs. Boo! Boop! Down here, notice, in the event of zombie uprising, please head to the Winchester pub and wait for it all to blow over. <laughs> I like it. Down in the catacombs, we have... Coffins here. Coffins. However you want to say it. Coffin coffins. So I guess this would be the manor guy, right? Please do not poke the corpse. Oh, he's smiling. Is this his beard? Like his, like his Santa beard, maybe? He's just like, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be dead. He's probably, he's probably not happy. That's the thing. Look at this. Someone, someone ruined the surprise. This was already open. I'm gonna walk in here and oh, we got a big old tunnel. Pew, pew, pew. And up. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Well, it just pops out over here. I guess we could have hit that lever right there. But we didn't. Did, you know, it's fine. Which takes us to the back part of this. Which is alright. I'm okay with that. So, I guess he's going down the catacombs, which uh, was someone else. Um. Pawn thingy, like it. Good name, solid name. Doesn't beat around the bush. Pawn thingy. Um, yeah, this is nice. Be a nice place to relax. You got a nice view over here, and then you got uh, nothing over here. But you know, even then, it's Minecraft. And you got to really suspend your imagination a bit, or disbelief, and then uh, you know, just just go with it. Go with the flow of Minecraft. It's I don't know. You remember when I was talking about how I start sentences and I don't know where they're going? It's, that's basically it. Okay, well that's going to do it for Saji's build. As far as I can tell, pretty sure that was it. So I'll see you guys next Saturday. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If not, that's okay with me. And um, we're going to be in Nubtown next week. So congratulations to all the nubs that are going to get your build shown off for a couple of seconds. Because there's going to be hundreds of them, I know. Not hundreds. Dozens. We'll go with dozens. Take a trip to my house.